Okay, so we're gonna saute cauliflower. Yep. All right, so tell me a little bit about sauteing because for me that would mean, you know, taking a pan, throwing some oil in it, and just tossing veggies in. That's but I, pretty much the yeah. gist. Okay. Sauteing is just cooking something until it's tender. Okay. Super easy. I'm just gonna start off with a little bit of oil. What kind of oil? This is rice bran, and rice bran has a nice high smoke point. Okay. You can see the oil starts to shimmer and it moves around quick. Okay. That means it's nice and hot. We'll give it a little shake here and there okay. just to get it nice and caramelized evenly. Okay. I'll season it with okay. sea salt, pinch pepper. And would you normally just serve it with just that, the oil, salt, and pepper, or what can we do to kind of add a little bit more flavor to this, potentially? Oh, you could add a little bit of garlic, you could add okay. some shallots, you could add whatever you want, but probably at the end, because you don't want it to burn. Okay. So we want to get the cauliflower pretty much cooked through, okay. and then we can add stuff at the end. So how can you tell that this is cooked through? Obviously, it's starting to brown already. Yeah, it's starting to brown. Okay. And you can think of the browning, all this caramelization, is like a flavored gradient. Okay. So the lighter the color, the less caramelization of the sugars, the more color, okay. the deeper the caramelization of the sugars, and more flavor. Can you just explain that? What's actually happening when you well, caramelize? Well, vegetables are okay. composed of mostly water. Okay. So when you expose them to heat, okay. the water starts to come out. The water also has a little bit of natural sugar in it. Okay. So the browning is just the caramelization of those natural sugars. Give it another shake. Yep. You don't yep. have to take some tweezers and turn them all over perfectly. <gasps> the just, shake will do the job. Just give it a shake once in a while and okay. you're good to go. This is my shake. I'm not going to try the toss. A great way to practice tossing okay. is to take a toasted piece of bread or a quarter and just put it in a pan and just practice okay. trying to flip just it. Just flip it over That's and over. That's the best way to practice. I can see it's getting a little translucent. Okay. Now we can put a little herb. What are you using there? What's That's tarragon. Okay. Or we can put a little shallot. And then if we want, we can finish Ooh. with a little butter. Nice. Yeah. So and get it all coated. I'm just gonna melt that butter. Okay. And there you go. That's just one way out of the countless ways you can do it. Could you use dried herbs as well? Yeah, oregano it? is a okay. herb that is really good dried. So chopped cauliflower, a little oil, a pan, and you're kind of good to go. Yep. Not bad. Sauteed cauliflower. It's pretty good.